Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rafael and today we are working on iPhone 6S Plus that does not charge. Uh, the customer already replaced the battery and the USB charger. Uh, however, you know, once I got it, it's, it appears to be dead. When I plug the charger in, it's at zero and it's showing zero amperage taken. So, um, so after they replace the charging port and the battery, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be the U2. So let's start and see if... So let's go ahead and replace it and see if that will fix the issue. First thing you want to do when you open it up, you want to disconnect the battery. Um, a lot of people burn the backlight on the LCD just because the battery is plugged in and there's still power going to the connector itself even when the phone is uh, off so so the U2 chip is right underneath this uh, right underneath this sticker it helps when you heat it up a little bit All right, so you can see here's our U2 chip. Pretty easy access compared to the 6S. So I'm gonna put it on my vise and swap it out. Also gonna remove these cables because sometimes when it gets too hot, it will actually uh, disconnect from the board. Like the connector itself will desolder from the board. So that's unnecessary. Just so you guys can see. So I'm putting some flux. Let's go to town. Okay. I'm going to clean the area. Oops. Let me clean that up. That's what happens when you're using one eye on your microscope to clean the pads. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit of flux. I'm going to put the chip in correct orientation. It was facing, the signs were facing us. So that's the way I'm going to put it in. I'm warming up the area first and then I'm going to hit the chip. much air. When the balls melt the chip will just jump in its space and it's placed by itself. Hopefully it's gonna be visible on the camera. Well, you can see it start moving. Are you going to jump in place? Yeah, you can see it moving and making it straight. There we go. Okay. I think that's enough. Let's let it cool down. Okay, battery connects last. Okay, so let's plug this in. I'm still using the same battery that was in. I'm not sure is it dead or not. I'm plugging it in. 
and already you know it shows the battery and it's showing 1.3 amps of charge so that's a good thing um, the battery is potentially even at zero right now and uh, when you replace the U2 and you can actually see the battery charging that means uh, the U2 was definitely the issue so right now I'll let it charge and then let's go to like 20% and at 20% I will run a YouTube video for an hour and I will see how long, how many percent it will actually go down. Typically for one hour video it's about 10% less give and take. Um, so let's see how it goes. The phone is just booting up. And right now it's taking 1.6 amp which is pretty quite significant. You can hear the chime. Uh, I didn't get the code. It's a 1% so the battery was completely dead and it brought it up to charge up. Alright so this has been uh, running over an hour and it did drain 8% so that's really good. Um, so I'm just going to charge out the battery and this is going to be a successful repair. Uh, if you have the same issue and you would like to have it fixed go to ifixlogicboards.com uh, you can ship it here to Seminole in Florida. Um, if you have any questions leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you later in the next video.